What is up Monster Jam fans and welcome to another exciting race day. We're coming to you from Salt Lake City for a little arena championship racing. Our first match is gonna be a head to head and it's gonna be Dragon versus Northern Nightmare. Now I know both drivers have been preparing months for this competition and we're only moments away from getting it started so let's see what happens. And here we go. All right, Northern Nightmare starting off strong, making sure that he's keeping this, these corners tight. You don't wanna let uh, a lot of space come between you and that center ring, because that's how you lose time. Of course, obviously Dragon right now trying to do the exact same thing. All right, we're coming up on our final lap. Oh, and Northern Nightmare is catching up to Dragon. Dragon has him on his tail in his rear view mirror and Northern Nightmare is going to take this first head to head race. Oh, you love to see it folks. A little wreckage right there on the track and let's give it up for Northern Nightmare. All right, our second match is going to be between Whiplash and of course Northern Nightmare who we just saw advance. Now remember, this is the best of three races. So hopefully if Northern Nightmare can pull out a win here, he will go on to the championship match. Of course, Whiplash wants to do the exact same thing and only one driver can leave here the winner. Off to a great start as Northern Nightmare gets a huge jump off that line. Once again, taking those turns very tight. Oh, a little wide on that one. That's gonna cost him some time, but he's able to recover quickly. You see, he's, he's using, his, using his tight turns to be able to try to make as quick a go of it as he can. He's already catching up to Whiplash right now. Oh, ho, ho. Northern Nightmare is tearing it up. And there we have it, folks. Northern Nightmare has just won this semi-championship match against Whiplash, and it's gonna be going on to the finals. All right, so I've just been told that our championship match at Salt Lake City in this head-to-head -head is going to be no other than Blue Thunder versus Northern Nightmare. Now, obviously, both racers have been able to make it this far to come in first place for every single one of their races, but only one of them is going to get to take home the trophy, so let's see who it is. Great start for Northern Nightmare. That was very quick. He's getting ready to complete his first lap. Nice drift into the turn. Coming up on completing that very final lap. And there you have it, folks. Northern Nightmare has defeated Blue Thunder and it's gonna take those eight championship points for finishing first place in our head-to-head -head competition. Oh, Northern Nightmare looks like he's ready to do a little bit of celebrating. Our second event in this arena championship series is going to be the freestyle competition. I, this is my favorite event. This is where the monster trucks get to go out there and just show us what they can do. Are we gonna see some wheelies, some stoppies, maybe a backflip? I don't know, let's just sit back and see what Northern Nightmare's got in store for us. Oh, and off to a great start with a backflip into a stoppy. Oh, he's not quite able to maintain. That's okay, Northern Nightmare has reset and he's gonna continue on with his run. Another backflip and this time lands it perfectly. Oh, it looks like he's gonna go, yep, straight into some donuts. Three wheels coming out of that. Oh no! It's like he didn't quite fully commit to the rotation of the backflip. 
Undeterred, Northern Nightmare's gonna back up, give himself some room. Some big air right there. Oh! And he's able to recover. I tell you, these drivers are giving us everything they can. Some more big air into a wheelie as he loses the hood of the vehicle. Oh, and rolls over and that's into a nice wheelie. Oh, and Northern Nightmare has almost lost every piece of his truck, but he's not stopping. Building up some speed. Let's see what he can do for us. Oh my goodness, is that a front flip? That is wild. Oh, and into some more donuts. Oh, and a backflip off the side connex. What a phenomenal run from Northern Nightmare. And I've just been handed the score that's a perfect 10. And Northern Nightmare is going to take home another eight championship points. All right, we're going to take it outside now for a Range Roven Waypoint race. So Northern Nightmare is gonna be racing several under other monster trucks to finish this race first and hit every single waypoint. Oh man, and right at the beginning, we can't even stay on all four wheels. Once again, Northern Nightmare is just finding it hard to get back on all four tires and keep moving. All right, he's coming up to that waypoint. A sharp turn. Moving on to another, trying to catch up to the other trucks as he goes through the campsite. Getting some nice air. Oh, just narrowly misses that building. Another waypoint. Oh man, it seems like all the monster trucks are here. A quick turnaround. Hit that waypoint one more time, and I think we can try and drive out of here. Yes, we can. Up the side of the mountain. Oh, we're trying to gain on him, make up for some lost ground. Another waypoint. Oh, some beautiful air as we finish. All right. Northern Nightmare doing great. All right, we're gonna move on to our next event and it's a time destruction. We're gonna see how much mayhem Northern Nightmare can do on this arena track. We've got all sorts of boxes and fences for him to destroy. It's gonna be a lot of fun, so let's just watch. Oh, we are starting off by smashing all those wooden boxes. It looks like someone put balloons in them. And again, the goal is to destroy as many things on the track as you can, and Northern Nightmare seems to understand that quite well. Northern Nightmare is doing a great job. Moving to the center of the arena to try and destroy as many of those boxes as he can. Oh, and doing it all, oh no! But he's able to recover. And that's gonna be another eight 
championship points for Northern Nightmare. Now it's time for the two wheel skills freestyle competition. Very similar to the regular freestyle, but all the tricks have to either start or end on two wheels. So that could be a wheelie, a stoppy, it could be on the sideways. Let's see what Northern Nightmare has for us. Looks like he's lining up. Oh, some good air into a wheelie. Nice. Oh, and he's able to stick the landing. More two wheels. Oh, come on, Northern Nightmare. Get back up. There he goes. All right. The crowd loves it, right into two wheels. And again, oh my goodness. Oh, and goes for the backflip, but doesn't quite get enough air to make it count. Oh, and that is a phenomenal outing by Northern Nightmare to once again take back eight championship points. Now we're going into our final event of Salt Lake City, and it's going to be the Crush More Circuit Race. He's going to be up against Higher Education, Grave Digger, Monster Mutt, and he's taking off fast. It is a tight race, folks, with everyone bunching up. Oh, and I think Northern Nightmare got lost for a second. He's getting right back up in there, though. Trying to make up for some lost time by boosting through the middle. Oh, and that crash in front of him is definitely going to help. Northern Nightmare is starting to gain on the competition. quickly recover and boost to regain some speed. Oh, some big air right past Gravedigger. All right, it's a great turn, maintains the speed. He's starting to catch up. It's a nice straightaway right here. Let's see if he can drift into the corner. Gets through. All right, well that is gonna be great for Northern Nightmare. And he is our Salt Lake City winner. I think now it's time to go over to Anaheim for a little more head-to-head -head racing with higher education versus Monster Mutt. Now this is gonna be a best of three series where each driver who wins their first race advances to the next. So right now, it's an elimination race. Only one of these racers is going to get to go through to the next round. And here they go. Higher education getting some big air off that first jump. This is a figure eight circuit. So you're gonna see lots of twists and turns from higher education as he goes around. 
All right, higher education has finished his first lap. He's just slightly in the lead over Monster Mutt. Coming around the bend. Oh, way out of the way. But is still able to finish. He gets across the finish line again. Going into his third and final lap. This is going to be the last turn. And that's it. Higher education takes your first win. He will advance to the next race. So here we go for race number two in this head-to-head -head competition in Anaheim. And we're going to have Higher Education, who we just saw win handily, I might add, versus Blue Thunder. Both of these trucks and drivers are at the top of their game. So it could be anybody's race right now, folks. I don't know who's gonna win, but we're about to find out. And they're off. Higher Education just screams out of the gate. Able to control that air going to the first turn. Into the second turn. All right, good job. And that's gonna finish lap one onto lap two. I think Higher Education is slightly in the lead, but Blue Thunder is right on his tail. A nice drift, maintains momentum, and here we go into our final lap. Oh, getting up on that ramp a little, taking that turn maybe a little too tight. But that's all right, because Higher Education is your winner and is going to advance to the championship head-to-head -head match. And here is that final head-to-head -head match, folks. We've already seen Higher Education beat Monster Mutt. He beat Blue Thunder, and now he's going to be going against the Ice Cream Man. This is it. This is for those eight championship points. This is when it counts. Who has nerves of steel and who's going to buckle under the pressure? Go! All right, higher education is pretty much coming out of the gate perfectly. Oh, he's taking that turn a little wide but able to make it up. All right, great job in the second turn. Takes it nice and tight, and Higher Education has a small lead over the Ice Cream Man going into the second lap. And this is the final lap, folks. Higher Education is in front of the Ice Cream Man. But one wrong turn, and all of that can change. This is for the championship. This is for those eight points. This is for bragging rights. Who's it going to be? And it's going to be Higher Education. Higher Education is your Anaheim head-to-head -head winner. Moving into our second event series, we have the freestyle competition. This is where Higher Education is going to get to show us what he's made of and do any type of tricks that he feels like he wants to impress us with. He's got the whole arena to work with, so let's see what he does. Some nice big air right off the start. Into some beautiful donuts. Comes out on two wheels and maintains. Oh! Didn't quite get the trick he was looking for, but able to land it nonetheless and climb that ramp. 
going into a wheelie, into a stoppy. Oh my goodness, that was amazing, folks. Oh, and just almost pulls off a backflip. But is able to right himself. And there it is, folks. That's that backflip that higher education was looking for, and it was a textbook perfect one. And he's celebrating with some donuts right there. He knows it. Some nice big air into a stoppy, but he's not able to maintain. onto two wheels and rolls it over. And another backflip, ladies and gentlemen, onto two wheels. Getting some speed. Oh, he went for the front flip and landed it into a wheelie. Oh, all the way over the barriers. I tell you what, higher education left it all out on the track for you, and that's why he just got a 9.5 into first place. Now, we're gonna be going back outside for another waypoint race where we're gonna be chasing lightning. And they're off. We're gonna start at the top of the mountain and work our way down. Higher education is pulled out to an early lead. Gets another waypoint, some nice air, maintains. to another waypoint. Still way ahead of the competition at this point. Higher education just has to maintain his lead. As he climbs up the mountain, get, getting each and every waypoint in his way. And a nice tight turn. going to be a straight shot at this point for higher education. Our final waypoint and he is your winner. Higher education taking it all. For our next section of this Anaheim competition, we've got a time destruction and we're going to be watching no one other than the ice cream man. He's ready to serve up some destruction. Waste no time going for that ramp and destroying those porta johns. Who left those on the track? Oh, that's gross. Remember, the goal is to destroy as much as you can. Ice Cream Man is doing a phenomenal job of taking out everything in his path. Fences, boxes, porta johns, you name it, he'll crush it. Oh, and he's out of bounds. Let's get him back on the track. All right, he's lining up. Oh, nice, in the air with a cartwheel, and let's see if he can recover. And he does. Ah, 
I think the ice cream man is starting to also destroy his own truck. Landing right on top of that pyramid and getting all sorts of destruction. Oh, and he tried to get fancy with a backflip. He's able to recover. Oh, he wants to make sure he gets all of those. And he lands right on top of some others. And that's gonna be it for Ice Cream Man's run, and that's enough to take first place. Our next competition is going to be in Anaheim, and it's going to be the two-wheel skills. Remember, this is where Ice Cream Man can do any trick he wants, but it has to either start or finish on two wheels. some big air into a wheelie right out the gate. Following it up with some donuts. And a backflip perfectly executed by Ice Cream Man. And that is an 8.5, ladies and gentlemen. Into our last event, we're gonna do some circuit racing at Crush Hour. We're back outside, we've got other monster trucks on the track, and let's see what Ice Cream Man can do. Oh my goodness, so during this race, there's gonna be times where the monster trucks are going right at each other, and that is going to cause all sorts of destruction and mayhem. Oh, ho, ho. head on collision. And he does not wanna back off or let Ice Cream Man through. through the center, nearly avoiding that crash. Oh, he needs to get back on the track. Oh, and trucks are just flipping and falling and crashing all around him. Some big air right there, awesome. Oh, some more crashes, some, some great Monster Jam action in this race today. Oh, seems like Ice Cream Man forgot which way he needed to go there for a second, but was able to recover without losing too much time. Every single time another monster truck passes him, there is a possibility of ultimate destruction and a whole lot of time loss. Look at that air. Oh, and Ice Cream Man manages to land it on his front two tires. Just barely avoids higher education, but slams right into Whiplash. Oh, another close call with higher education and Whiplash just went flying by. Ice Cream Man slowing down probably for very good reason as Whiplash nearly took him out again. Oh! Whiplash just hit Ice Cream Man, and then Dragon hit Whiplash. That was crazy. 
Oh, big air to two wheels. And that's gonna finish it. Ice Cream Man is your winner. All right, kids, I hope you had a great time with all this Monster Jam action, and I can't wait till we get to do it all again soon. Until then, you guys take care.